Here we have a laptop, a tablet, and a smartphone. See how we are using all three devices with the same website and notice the differences. On a laptop, you are using the mouse and the keyboard to surf through the website. A problem that designers encounter is adaptive web design. They struggle with altering the design to fit the consumer's needs and the variety of devices. The tablet makes it easier for users to swipe through pictures, books, music, and any other applications they choose. Internet trafficking on mobile devices is up 131% as the last year. This is because of how consumers use the same apps differently on certain devices. For example, the Bank of America app is used differently on a tablet rather than a smartphone. On a tablet, the Bank of America app is easier to make transactions, split accounts, and take pictures of checks to deposit them. On a phone, they just want to see how much money is in their account. It's quick, it's easy, and accessible. When designing a website, you must take an account and pay attention to the size of the tablet or phone and its resolution limits. A main problem with phones is that thumbs are bigger than buttons. Therefore, the buttons need to be 40 pixels tall. Some problems are the Flash software. Flash software is an animation program with full screen navigation interfaces, graphics, and simple interactive sections. The software, however, reacts differently with each type of device due to file formats and size.